also have a few more questions from Peter Strauss. Um, he says, I heard no discussion this morning of the treatment of standards that are still incorporated, but that SDOs have updated in a way not reflected in the incorporating regulation. Anyone like to take that? Yes. <laughs> um, let's see. Yes, NFPA. thank you. Uh, this morning brought off from NFPA. I guess this is a point of information. Is this, uh, uh, is there going to be a point in the afternoon or is this the point where we're actually going to be discussing implementation of Section 24 as opposed to general discussions about whether standards ought to be in the public domain and sort of the legal, in, in some sense, that, I, yes. I, you know, I feel very strongly yeah. about those things, but um, Section 24 has been enacted. It, it requires free access mm -hmm. on an Internet website and what that means and how D DOT plans to implement it or is trying to figure out how to implement it is something I think a lot of us yeah. came here to, you know, hear no, about that's a and very contribute good point. to. That is going to be the majority. We just wanted to be responsive to people who were sending us questions during lunch. And to highlight that, I'll segue. As soon as Jeannie is done reading the other, I think it looks like a couple or handful of comments um, that people sent us during the lunch break, this is going to be the starting point um, of questions that we think or we hope will solicit proposals. No one is seeking to resolve it today. Um, if there are divergent opinions about how to implement Section 24 effectively and taking into consideration a lot of the challenges that were identified uh, on the panels this morning. But um, we will kind of start to use these as uh, jump off points. Jeannie and I heard some common themes that as soon as we're done with the webcast questions, we will sort of remind people and have you reflect and then hopefully suggest um, as part of the working session options and alternatives to address some of the concerns we heard this morning. Will, will there be an opportunity to submit, um, based on what we hear here, proposals or comments afterwards? Actually, that's a very good point. The Federal Register notice that we published is open. We will be accepting comments after this meeting um, for two weeks. Uh, we also, FEMSA, will be posting all of the materials that you saw today, any presentations, any prepared statements on our website immediately following this webcast. And the webcast itself will be available for a year on our website. I'm not sure if that's 24, 48 hours, but that will also be available in case you all have others in your organizations or other interested parties that may want to watch the webcast before they respond officially in the register. And, and we don't have any more specific questions. Uh, most of what we have that have come in through the web, uh, the webcast are statements at this point. So okay. we want to move to uh, further discussion uh, per your point in the audience.